Hey what's going on guys, PSV here and welcome to a Euro Truck Simulator video where we're going to be driving this beautiful scanner, scanner, scania <laughs> on this beautiful sunny day and we are going from winning, if you pronounce that right, to Graz. So Graz is a new place from the 1.12 update I do believe it's a new place. I think these three this one, this one, and this one are uh, all new to the 1.12 update. So it's not a very long journey, but it's a journey. And so I can sit here and have a little talk with you guys. And yeah, you know, the usual trucking. So you get a bit of trucking in the channel. So let's start the engine. So guys, I'm using the Logitech G27 with the clutch pedal and the H shifter. Oh, we better bring up our map. PSV would help if you press the right button. There we go, we've got our map here so we can see where we kind of see where we're going. Do you let me up? Thank you. Nice Mr. AI. So I'm not normally used to driving a left hand drive but I thought why not give it a go today it's something different oh sorry Mr AI I should have waited then but you know the AI can wait for us so the AI has been improved a hell of a lot um, they're not as aggressive as they used to be, what's well, quite nice. They seem to give way a lot, but their roundabout work needs improving. Like, you can be at the junction, I actually was sitting there hoping that they'd do it, but in the end I just pulled out. Their junction, uh, their roundabout work is terrible. Like, the AI could go, be going round the roundabout and you're sitting at a junction, and then all the AI cars stop at the roundabout to let you give way. When to make it a bit more realistic, you always give way to the right in the UK. So I'm guessing in like other countries, it's give way to the left on a roundabout because you're on your opposite side of the road. But um, yeah, that's the only weird bit I don't get about the AI. But I'm hoping they'll fix that in the latest later updates. I will if we come across any roundabouts. I'll try and see if we can do that. I need to get over. Is that nice AI going to let me over? course he is. Thanks mate. So I do apologise about the mic quality yet again and you probably can hear the Lucet G27 quite loud. Um, that's because I actually am using a temporary mic due to my other mic packing up on me. What's not great. So the G27 wheel like I said I'm using it is a great wheel. A lot of money, but definitely worth. I have no regrets of spending that amount of money on it so far. What's well, always a plus side, I guess. So I've got to remember it's a left-hand drive, so can't judge it differently. You got to judge it a bit different. Because I'm used to take. Obviously, if you're on the right-hand side, you go into the bends quite tight. But obviously, I'm on the left-hand side, so you've got to take them wider. Oh, this is a bit of a new junction. The AI, any AI coming? Not what I can see. Whoa, talk about over revving your lorry. So, once we get on this back on this motorway, we'll change to a bit of a different camera view so you can get a good look at the lorry while we're driving along. So, guys, if you would like to see more, if you think this is a good video, like to see more of just you know casual short journeys with different loads on like different uh, trailers and stuff you know something different just a chill out stream where I can come up with a topic to talk to you about or just ramble on <laughs> and uh, yeah you know different topics if you would like to see that please let me know in the comments below and that would be really appreciated
I'm just skipping through all the different views that there are. <laughs> Let's get back to the cockpit view. So let's talk about the update, shall we? So the update, they've added a few features. I do apologise if you can hear that in the background. That's just people walking past. The mic's very sensitive. Um, so let's start off what we can see now. So if you look on the mini-map, you can see at the bottom left, there is a speed limit now. You have now, so if you're driving down that road, you're thinking, crap, I don't want to get a speeding ticket. What is the speed? You can look there and it will tell you. So the cool thing I've noticed as well, for example, as you can see my speed limit is set as miles per hour. But that little circle is calculated, so it's in kilometers that little circle, but it will tell you your speed in miles per hour, if you understand me, how far you go. So at the moment I can go 50, what is so many in kilometers. So if you get what I mean, so you've got no worries of if you're not in kilometres your speed or in, and you're in miles per hour, you've got no worries at all there. No worries at all about speeding, as long as you stick to that. I know I'm going a bit over at the moment. And that, so it's pretty cool. So that's one of the features. Again, they've worked big time on the AI. So I'm going to probably do a separate video for 1.5. 13 when that comes out um, that will probably be a separate video we'll talk about that update so all like the load up screen and everything like that has all changed completely so that will be quite interesting to show in a different video and I think I will do that so we're just cruising along onto a new road not been down here before it's quite nice going into a different location for once. So if you're looking at my money and thinking, Jesus, how has he got so much money and how is he getting so many drivers coming into an income? Well, just for these purpose of these videos, because normally I do mod reviews and everything, and you'll know when you want to do a big mod review videos, you need a lot of money. Okay? So what, I, what I've done there is a such a thing. It's not a hack. It's not a cheat or anything. On... Um, ETS2.LT there are profiles already made that have got that amount of money in it so so many million or you can get them with all different amount of money in you, all you got to do is just download that profile and then when you select what profile you want to play on it will be there and that's how it is so yeah it's an actual mod, modded profile very very t clever -y in a high standard tweaked and it works pretty well so yeah, if you're thinking always oh, being a cheat in that, no cheat engine, no hack or anything was used to get that money. It's all just done by a mod. So we've only got an hour and twenty minutes left on this journey, so that's probably about roughly about five minutes real time. So that's forty eight miles left. So we're travelling on the motorway next to nice trees on a sunny Thursday evening at 6.54 p.m. What's well, quite nice. Oh, didn't mean to put my lights on then. So I'm okay with fuel at the moment. I've got plenty of fuel. I'm okay with sleep, so I don't need to stop on this journey. I can just go straight through. What's well, quite nice. So as you can see the AI are acting very well behaved and that is just a fix through the uh, update will come and yeah it's very well done. Just that roundabout situation but no my luck. Let's have a little look on the map. Have we got any roundabouts coming up? Uh, no we haven't got no roundabouts coming up. So that thing that I wanted to show you is not going to happen. <laughs> but I might make that into a video about the updates. I might have found it find a stretch of roundabouts 
and then show you what I mean on a separate video so look out for that so I do apologize if I haven't really if I kind of ramb rambled on a little bit and stuff but that is literally just because I haven't had a set topic for this video I thought let's just go for a short journey you know get some neuro track on the channel talk to my viewers and just tell me what videos would you like to see because sometimes it's very difficult as a YouTuber if they've got no videos to make and they're thinking damn it what would my viewers like to see what should I make a video of what should I make a video of you know it's kind of a bit of a tricky situation also guys I know that if you can't hear the game sound as loud as maybe you want it to sound I will adjust that for the next video it's just literally just getting the volume at the right at the moment keep tweaking it but at the moment I think it should be okay but no am I like when I edit the video watch it back it's gonna sound too quiet but promise that will be fixed for the next video if it is too quiet let's have a look at some other views so we're taking a nice dirty old tractor on the back, let's see how many tons this tractor is worth it's only, it's a digger, digger 1000 and it's only weighs 16 tonne and I'm getting £8,276 or euros sorry for this job what's not too bad it's nothing really compared to my balance <laughs> But yeah, no, that's not too bad. Better get over after this bend. Make sure no traffic's coming. Good, we soon goes uphill here, doesn't it? Jesus, big incline here. And then we've got to go back down the hill. <laughs> Just like so. So we're nearly at this destination, seven miles away, 11 minutes. We're getting off steeps up this hill. Around this grass place. There are some hills around here. There we go, we're coming to a more of a flat surface so now we can shift up to another gear. So as you can see on the map, we can see where we've got a drop off this point. We'll come up to some lovely traffic lights now. A bit sensitive on the brakes there. Oh, would help PSV if you put in the right gear and get your foot on the clutch. <laughs> So look at that cargo, that's actually the Jazzy Cat Railway um, cargo pack, you can get it off of ETS2.LT website, that's the modding website, I've actually got that pack as you can see it's on there, there. so you can take big trailers like that, what is pretty epic, and it looks pretty nice as well taking big trailers like that, it's hard work because they're like obviously overweight and uh, overload and stuff like that so you've got to be careful when you go around those bends and stuff but it makes it a bit more venturous so here we go, delivery point is just around the corner here doopy doo, doopy doo doo here we go, better start indicating Oh, 
sorry guys, didn't mean to press that button. Went to look into that mirror and make sure I got. Oh, and again! <laughs> do apologise about that, guys. Here we go. So I just need to make sure my trailer is going to get around that bend. Here we go. So this is going to be a bit more tricky. I'm so used to reversing right hand drives. It's going to be a bit of a challenge reversing the left hand one, I think. Might take us a few attempts. Let's have a look in the mirror. Yeah. God, it's so it's actually really surprising how different it is reversing a uh, left hand drive to what it is reversing a right. I can't believe that how different it is. But you know, good old PSV always up for a challenge. There we go, let's just straighten that up. There we go. And that's this video complete, guys. I'd like to just say, let's just claim this job. Say that we've done that. Let's just go back to the drive option. And I'd like to just say a massive thank you to everyone that has watched this video and supported my channel. Peace out to you guys, and I hope to see you in the next video. Uh...